Namaskar again. I know it is uh, almost break time, so I won't uh, take much time. Uh, many of you did hear the word Mar Foundation, and most of you, I hope, know who what Mar Foundation is and what we have been doing for the last so many years. So I thought, and all the organizers, our board members, felt that we should give you a little bit of uh, background about Mar Foundation how it started and where we are and what we intend to do in the future. So very quickly I'm... I know I'm... I'm sorry, you mentioned... Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. So I'm going to skip here the slides and just mention what we intend to do and with how we started a few of those slides instead of going almost size over here. Uh, very, very first thing I want to mention about the history. As uh, the dates mentioned over there, May 14, 2005, this is the Mark Foundation, the brain child of Rameshwati. So around the beginning of May or the end of April, he called a few of us and said, how about doing something for the Hindu community. So six of us met at his house in Gatesburg on that particular day, that is May 14. That was myself, of course, Rameshwaji, Dwediji, and uh, Nareshi, he was sitting over here. He's sitting over there now, he's not feeling well. And uh, our publisher, Mr. Arvind Gupta, and uh, Rameshwaji's son, Shmendra Paul. So six of us met at his house. And his idea was that when we start with a magazine to promote Hinduism, Hindu awareness, understanding and appreciation of Hindu heritage. So that was the mission he already had in his mind. So everybody talked about that. And everyone agreed, yeah, it is something we should do. But it is always very, very difficult to push a very, very heavy stone. We did not have any funding, we did not have any support. And except Rameshwaji, I don't think anybody knew who were the five of were at the time. So keeping it short, everyone put their own seed money over there to start the magazine. And the magazine was initiated in July, August 2005. So this was the first copy of the magazine. So we had a Havan, as I uh, mentioned during our presentation, that the way we saw everything, the Havan was done at Duga Temple on July, in July, month of July, July, of July if I'm not wrong. And we initiated the magazine. And after 13 years, we have the 73rd issue, that is our current issue. And that looks like this. So if you see the difference between the change, we always have some picture on the front page, and the first issue was something like that. That is the only change you will see on the cover page of the magazine in 13 years. So now without going in many, many details, the other project which we took at that time, and we have been working slowly in different direction, we started with seminar, let's see one of that. Then we have some posters, I'm going to go over that very quickly. We have speaker panels. The speaker panels within our Mark Foundation and out of Mark Foundation, we have people who can go to churches, schools, and so and so, to talk about our Hindu dharma. And uh, our community has done that. 
My, my son has done that, and then I have, yeah, requests other people from outside us to go and fulfill that need whenever we ask to speak. And the last one is Seva Project. After hearing what Murvi just said, I think that excited me the maximum. How we all, not only my foundation, all Hindus, we, unless we involve ourselves with the community, non-Hindu community, I don't think other people may know who we are and what we want to do and what we want to accomplish. And I agree with uh, Rajanji that yoga is uh, becoming now buzzword whether they know what yoga is or not. Of course, now they are becoming uh, Jewish yoga and American yoga and uh, so many yogas are coming out. And that is another misunderstanding about the yoga. Uh, before I go over there, let me ask you another question. We decide all, whenever we go. And now, I've gone to some churches. They did not decide all with us. But when we go to their gathering in church, and I've gone to churches, whenever, whatever they want to decide in a gathering, we will happily decide with them. And some of the people say, well, they ask me, that uh, you don't feel bad about uh, participating in this thing, and that is what our Hindu dharma is. That is, you go anywhere you want, you expect. Okay? Yes. We accept everything, and we go along with that, and uh, that is what Hindu dharma is. To me, at least. Yes, let me just show, we have come up with this poster, the poster I talked about. We, currently we have these seven posters uh, as listed over there. They all look like this. Some of you might have seen outside. They are very, very popular. A lot of people buy them. They are $2 or $3 per year. I don't know that that cost of that. And this year we framed some of the posters so you can go and hang it in your prayer rooms or uh, children can be what this post is all about. I just want to take a couple of minutes about swastika. And if I'm wrong, please tell me after the, our seminar. I think this is the most misused word I read in newspaper swastika. I think we all should go and tell the news media and everywhere that they should write not swastika, but not the swastika whenever they are attacking something like that thing. They should make a distinction. This is our Hindu dharma swastika, and the swastika they talk about is completely, completely different. So whenever we are doing prayers, whenever we are any, and somebody else comes out and we have swastika over there, oh, you are following not swastika? We have to tell them that. I think we should make a big project. I am going to talk to all the temple people, at least locally, I saw writing specifically to the Washington Post not to use the word swastika in newspaper. They should write in Nazi swastika over there. And I don't know whether I'm correct or I'm wrong, but I would be very willingly talk to everyone who wants to talk to me about that. Well, Seva Project, this is a very, very minor thing, and the uh, main reason of that is we are very short, short of uh, manpower. And the last couple of years ago, we came up with the Mark Wizard. And we had a copy of Mark Wizard sitting outside. And I specifically asked the young one, the Bolleji left, in fact, I would make a special request to him to join us and guide us. Because we are all in the Mark Foundation right now. I'm going to, in fact, introduce all the members of the Mark Foundation. Currently, you'll see that. I think the youngest person may be in the 70s person. So we need some young people to come and join us and guide us, not in, we guide them, they guide us how we should take the project and then further enhance the values of Hindus, the way the younger generation wants to see and want to understand, not the way we want them to understand, the way they themselves want to understand. So these are, you may not be able to see all these uh, small uh, writing over there, but we have under Mark Vision some of the public services programs and our organizational support. And because of seven and eight people who are actually 
working within the group. We don't have enough manpower, enough funding, and many, many other things to continue all these projects. So we are looking for all of you over here to come and join us. The very first thing during the first meeting we have mentioned, which I forgot to tell earlier, that all the people work 100% as volunteer. There is not a single penny which is taken from the front of our foundation on any spent on any of the members or any you know, personal expenses. Everyone tried to put their own time, their own money, and everything towards the Mark Foundation. So in short, we have a magazine coming out uh, every by every two months. So seventy third issue is the current issue. And we are going to have the next issue in for December, your last issue of this year. It is twenty dollars per year subscription. And I'm sorry to say that a lot of people are even See, it's too expensive, and uh, unless we have the readers, we cannot keep publishing it. So just like the seminar, if we don't have a euro, there is no purpose of having a seminar. So there is no purpose publishing a magazine if we don't have the readers. And we will have readers only if they are subscribers. So there are $20 per year subscription. So I invite, even among over here, current guest list. I see only maybe 10 or 12 people who are below 50. But I am requesting below 50 people to come and join the group and guide us to have our future projects going, which we have in our my vision plan. So with that, I'm not going to mention I'm not going to take much time. Let me just introduce all the people who are here from my foundation. The very first one I'll start with Dwediji. Dwediji, if you can come please over here. And uh, you can uh, hold your clapping because I'm going to do this And you can do that. And Naresh uh, Abha, if you can walk over here. He's our, uh, one of the original members of the team, including Dwediji. And Dwediji uh, Marathe. There was Sandy for uh, Sant Gupta Ji, Bandev Raheja, please, Mohandas Bhatt, is he here? Oh, over there. Uh, Rati Bhai Patel is also one of the directors and the members. He is not here. He had uh, tripled by her surgery a couple of months ago, so he could not come. Then we have Rajan Narayan, my team member, Shalini Bhalla, she was here. Yeah. Atul Ravaji, Manu Gora, and we have other people, I don't think. I will just recite their names over here Dr. Bikram Paul, Mr. Arvind Gupta. And Ambassador Harshwarupji, they all please come over here, Ambassador Tom. So all these people have contributed to World Mark Foundation. And now, the last but not the least, <coughs> Mr. Mark, I don't have the words to say about that thing. Without him, I don't think we can have a single issue of Mark or we can have a single event. And that name is Ramesh Rupal. Please now can give a big applause to Ramesh <laughs> After that note, do I have your permission and 10 seconds to append a letter of code? Uh, you have. You See what Sareji has done is reminded me. Your 10 seconds are up. <laughs> I think from saying a song from, uh, I believe his name is Jagjit Singh. Uh, I think everybody can hear me without that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it goes around something like that. You have said something like that. No, you have said something like that. No, you have said something like that. 
so, so I don't know what I will do with that extra life, but, but thank you very much. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that I, as I mentioned, that I don't think we can have any event, any meeting, any issue, or doesn't no matter what it is related to Mark, we can have that without uh, Ramesh Oji. All our meetings take place at his house because he says he cannot walk. Uh, this, is, this is his great modesty that he said that. Everybody is aware of his contribution. So, that now. I think it was now old or Just come closer. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, that we cannot do anything without your support and without your help. So, the last word is you want to. For this particular seminar, we expected over 100 people over here, and it is uh, unfortunate that we don't have that many. And uh, if anybody wants to give any donation, please make it to Mar Foundation. It would be highly appreciated. And with that, I will so keep rattling. Uh, or so, here, Shivaji. I didn't mention all that. Yeah, we have a Facebook page. Uh, if you can search Mark Foundation within the Facebook, you will see it. Uh, I think there are quite a number of people who liked it. In the past, we have done some events and we put seminars, whatever the videos we have. We do have a YouTube page also. It's again the same Mark Foundation. So just uh, subscribe, like, and uh, share it. So that, that way it reaches more people. Uh, you'll be surprised. You know, people all over the world will be watching those. Whatever you spoke here today. <laughs> it will be. Yes. Good. Okay, just a couple of points. First, uh, some people may come here from other doors. We would appreciate if all the people who have handed it also registered. So we have record. I will keep you posted if we have your email address. And it is close to 4.15 now, and we'll have a break for 15 minutes. So all of you, please do come back by 4.30. What do we have out there? Well, uh, you should go and check it out <laughs> and uh, yourself. And uh, anybody wants to visit temple upstairs, yeah. uh, please uh, do so during the break or after the seminar. And uh, there is always RT 7 o'clock. Yeah, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, there is RT also. And uh, yeah. yeah, temple is open upstairs. Yeah. So please, uh, we'll meet as uh, Sanjeev mentioned after 15 minutes. And uh, I'm pretty sure all of you must have already seen the bathroom, restrooms are at the back of this uh, hallway. And uh, snack will be outside. Thank you. We'll see you in 15, 15 minutes. Can I just thank everybody for Monday we have? Just for a minute. Uh, thank you everybody for coming. It is very honored to have this Mangal Mandir as a, as a platform to have this kind of a seminar. Uh, you know, we have a, one of the most senior person, of, uh, uh, Mr. Arunabhi Patel, what you know is here. He is the founder of this uh, Mangal Mandir. Oh, oh. Uh, thank you. Just one, one comment, like, uh, as you have a village. How you want to get youth involved? I'll just give you a recent example. Just about a week ago, as a Gujarati New Year, we have the Annakut. You most of you have seen it and uh, witnessed also. So we do the traditional Annakut here, uh, you know, for the last many years, like uh, 25 years we have it. So this year, the parents, the young parents and the young kids from our Sunday school, they came with the idea that they want to do Annakut of their own. Now, this Annakut, what was done 5,000 years ago, when Lord Krishna did the Govardhan Parvat, it was like all, you know, they had like all kheer and makhan and everything, all different things. But this year, the kids and the parents came and said, we want to do this unquote. We put, put a, of course, we put a go over them, but we'll bring there like a cupcakes, we'll give the cookies and everything. <laughs> this was really very innovative and then you have seen, you should have seen the enthusiasm and the all like excitement that kids and the parents have. This was the first time we did it in 25 years and thanks to Urban Band, everybody was letting it happen. So that was the excellent thing.
So, so this was like how we want to get our kids youth involved. It's kind of, you know, what our children say, how can we get our people involved? Look at our age group here, how, what we are here. But we should have like more of these kids and young people coming up here. So I'd like to share that experience, how that worked out. I'd like a, not like a dogmatic or ritualistic right way, but if they want to come up with idea, you know, with the permission and with the circumstances, let them do it. These are the ones who are going to carry our message in the next 100 years or 500 years or something. So that was a very unique thing that happened recently. Thank you.